This is about the time when I presented my monologue on Civil War Day. Last year in 8th grade, we had to write our own monologues about a fictional character in the Civil War. Mine was about a soldier who wanted to see his wife again. I sat in my room for hours memorizing each and every line of the story. I had to make sure I wouldn't slip up while presenting. Then the day came. Everyone in class had to present. I listened to others present, then it was my turn. I got up to the front of the class and started speaking. I was nervous, but I was also doing pretty well. I kept telling myself to speak louder and to stop moving around. I was feeling nervous and anxious, but before I realized it, I was done. I received a small applause and I went back to my seat. Wow, at least I don't have to do that again, I thought to myself. Bell rang, and as I was heading out the door, I heard Miss Crow call my name. I turned around and headed towards her. How would you like to present your monologue on Civil War Day, she asked me. I really didn't want to do that, but I knew Miss Crow wasn't going to let me have a choice. I tried to argue, but in the end I was forced to say yes. I didn't know what to do. I was so upset and nervous, but I decided that I should at least do it well. I took that week to perfect my monologue. I made sure I knew every line and I wouldn't forget anything, but I was still very anxious. I knew my friends would be watching me when I presented. Then it was Civil War Day. Everyone was in costumes and the school looked like it was in the Civil War times. I was going to present in the hospital room and inside I introduced myself to the man who was going to present after me. I recited my story to myself one last time before the first group came rushing in. I started off and everyone watched me. At first I was nervous, but then I relaxed. I even enjoyed it a bit. When I was done, everyone clapped and I felt really proud. Ten minutes later, the second group came in, but I wasn't worried at all. I presented again, and everyone gave me an applause. I felt so happy, and I could finally join up with the rest of my friends. I was so proud of myself that I faced my fear of speaking to public, and it is something that I'll remember for a long time.